Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to show you how to install WordPress on SiteGround. As you can see right now, I'm on SiteGround uh, website. Uh, you can check my referral link down below. So the reason I like SiteGround, uh, because it is very fast, uh, very friendly, and very easy to use. Uh, let's say if you are a beginner, if you are new to uh, web hosting, so why is it important to have a good web host? Let's say your web host, uh, web host is bad, then you can come across a lot of technical issues such as um, bad performance, uh, server issues, uh, technical issues, and your, your website can get hacked. Uh, so if you if you're looking to get a new website you don't want that right so that's where SiteGround uh, comes SiteGround uh, generally offers good services and if you go to uh, wordpress.gov uh, if you go to hosting and wordpress uh, hosting recommend these three uh, websites uh, Bluehost, Dreamhost and SiteGround so you know uh, even WordPress recommend SiteGround uh, so let's go back uh, to the webs their website again and now I'm going to show you how to install WordPress to do that you need to go to hosting and then click WordPress hosting and then we need to go and click view plans and then we can see uh, three plans uh, WordPress hosting offers uh, one is startup plan and the next one is the grow big plan which one is the uh, most recommended one and the last one is the go geek, geek plan that's the most uh, expensive plan also that one offers most features so the difference between the startup plan and the grow big plan startup plan uh, only offers gives you one website uh, and also it gives you like a moderate uh, monthly visitors but I recommend or uh, to get this one you can get unlimited uh, websites and you can get like monthly like hundred thousand uh, visitors right and make sure all these uh, plans offer free WordPress installation you can see installation and free SSL uh, daily backup free CDN and free email so all those uh, those features I mentioned offers all three plans so in this example I like to try the startup plan so for that I need to click get plan once I click the get plan it's gonna direct to this uh, enter your domain page so either you can uh, enter a new domain here or you can uh, get uh, you can uh, if you already have a domain you can transfer your domain here to SiteGround. So, but in this example, uh, we're going to show you how to get a new domain, right? Uh, previously, I tried this domain. Basically, this one is available. So, I am going to proceed this one. And on the bottom, uh, SiteGround going to charge $17.99 for to register this domain for a year, okay? So the next thing is I need to proceed and then after I proceed it says here congratulations your domain moneypower.com is available for registration for hosting and the next thing is you need to fill up your account information you need to put your email and put your password make sure your password is a, a strong one and then is uh, next thing is you need to fill up your client information, your name, your address, and also they're gonna ask your phone number. The 
third thing is you need to fill up your uh, payment information you need to put your either credit card or debit card and the last one is to fill up your purchase information they're gonna ask your plan uh, as I mentioned earlier in this uh, exa example I'm gonna try the startup plan and the data center uh, the data center gives you uh, if you if you live in like a USA it's the closest one so that's where you get most traffic so I live in USA so I get this uh, data but let's say if you are living in uh, uh, England you may try the London uh, United Kingdom one since I live in USA I'm gonna choose that one okay and the periods how long you want this services okay month you can get 12 months 24 24 months 36 months they're gonna give 12 months deal so I'm gonna try 12 months deal I could save money uh, and the other features is they're gonna offer you is the domain privacy what the domain privacy do if you get these features it gonna hide your personal information if you don't if you don't register this feature mostly your information anyone can get your information from who who is a directory let's say if anyone can go if, if they go to who is directory.com and they type your website and they can get your personal information such as your name address phone number email so if you register this feature it's gonna hide your personal information so no no one can see your information so I recommend I highly recommend to get this feature okay and the other one is the SG site scanner basically this will do it's, it's, it's going to monitor your uh, uh, like uh, it's monitor whether your website is hacked or it's infected with uh, virus uh, basically it will inform you but it's not going to do anything but it will notify you uh, base, uh, for me I'm, I'm going to skip that offer okay and finally you also you need to uh, read terms of service and privacy policies make sure you read and then and then you need to click uh, pay now and then once you've done you have to wait like a couple of minutes and then uh, you need to check your email and it says your uh, complete your domain verification your new domain uh, was successfully registered and you need to be aware of this one uh, however you will receive an additional verification email domain you're gonna receive another link you need to verify uh, you need to verify within 15 days okay why you need to verify within 15 days if you don't verify uh, within 15 days your domain registration may be suspended so keep that in mind okay uh, so the next thing is uh, we're gonna do is to add a new uh, website so to do that click this one And then once I click that one it's gonna redirect to my uh, website uh, that I registered and the first thing you need to do is you need to add security okay uh, add SSL to add SSL either you can go here and add SSL or you can go to site tools but I prefer to go to site tools let's click that one And then on site tool uh, dashboard you need to go to the security click security and go to SSL manager click SSL manager and here install new SSL you can see your domain and then here you have to click less encrypt that's the free version and then you click get You have to wait like a couple of minutes to uh, it, to get activate
I hope it won't take that long. Right now, uh, it's in encrypt is installed for your website. Now the next thing is you can see it's activate. Now the next thing is you need to do is to HTTP enforce. Basically, what you're going to do is uh, HTTP gives you more, much secure connection to your website. So you need to uh, make sure to enable that one. To enforce that, you you can either go here and click here enforce HTTPS or you can go here. So in this example, I go here and make sure to active HTTPS. So once again, it's going to give uh, HTTP enforce right now it's enabled and now the security is done the next thing is I like to go to the speed one and caching and make sure this one is uh, achieve the fastest possible loading time so click this one so this will run your website a little faster and the other one is go to mm cache and uh, it will greatly improve the loading speed dynamic so go and click that one this will improve your loading fa uh, loading speed and the other one i would like to show you is a cloudflare you can get the free option uh, basic one uh, basically this will do that speed your website right and also give more security so I uh, recommend you to get this uh, feature as well first you need to create or connect and active and configure you can set up here you can put your uh, email address and create a password and create uh, but in this example I'm going to skip this one but you can create so the next thing is uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the WordPress here and click install and manage uh, since I'm already installed WordPress uh, as you can see on the bottom here this is my website so now I want to log into my WordPress uh, admin panel to log into your WordPress admin panel as you can see this uh, the arrow you can click this arrow once you click the arrow it's gonna uh, redirect to my WordPress so I'm gonna click it and it's gonna show my WordPress and I'm gonna log into my WordPress right now and right now I'm on WordPress